extra security is in place at a local elementary school today after a kindergartner brought a loaded gun in his backpack to school yesterday. Megan Schiller looks at how students, parents, and school staff coped with the beefed up security. City of Pittsburgh police as well as school police sat outside Faison Elementary for hours. All of the young students had to form a single file line and walk through the metal detectors and have their bags checked. And it's something that parents said they had to talk to their kids about. I just told him not to be scared. I did say you're going to have to get checked and there's going to be metal detectors. And I kind of just explained to him, but it really didn't sink in until he walked up. Angeline Swanger said her twins are in kindergarten at Faison Elementary and her two other children also go there. She stood by and watched as her little ones waited around to get inside. It was crazy. Like my kids felt scared going into the school now. I could tell by looking at my six year old, he was scared. This new safety measure comes after a kindergartner brought a loaded gun to school Monday inside his book bag. Police said the student kept his backpack in the locker all day. Talked about it on the bus ride home. That's when another student told the bus driver who alerted police. My kids can't even go to school without the threat of being shot in this place. We watched as some parents decided to go home for the day and bring the kids with them, upset by all the police cars and the new security measures. And it's also disturbing that now they have to walk through metal detectors. If you're talking about the safety and everything that's been going on, you should have been doing that a while ago if that's what you think. It's going to keep the children safe. Let's not, we should be more proactive and not reactive. I don't understand how a gun would be in child's reach to be to begin with. Like, that's scary. And the city of Pittsburgh police tell me that the school police will now be handling this investigation. We did reach out to the district and they tell us that there is no update on this investigation just yet. Reporting at Homewood, I'm Megan Schiller, KDK News.